hold a grudge sort of thing. You know, another person who is like that to a T is Joe, right? Yeah. I mean, Joe's like it. I would not be surprised if Joe is completely melancholic. He he took the test. He actually texted it to me. I'll tell you exactly. Oh. He, he's he's slightly melan. He's slightly choleric with melancholic. I mean, he's. That's dangerous. a dangerous combination. Yeah, man. It's like, Why? but um, at the same time, if if you want someone fighting for an ideal, Joe, I mean, that sort of, that's perfect then. So let me just see real quick. He said, Why is that dangerous? So it's just, it's, he doesn't care about relationships much. So yeah, it's all, it's all about ideals for him. Yeah. So he's, um, He's 65 melancholic and 55 or 45 uh, choleric, which that's a lot of choleric in there, which I didn't think he was that much. I would have thought he was way more melancholic, where I think Kennedy is choleric, melancholic. Melancholic. So Kennedy, you can see he's just as idealistic, and Kennedy is Kennedy's that alpha male, bro. He'll get right in your face. Like he, he's, mm -hmm. I mean, you see this whole thing going down with, with, with Lofton, right? It's like, yeah. Kennedy, Kennedy, if you say something about uh, Lefebvre, Kennedy will actually take it as if it's spoken to him, right? Like he, I mean, he, he's got it, that melancholic idealism. It's in instant, him. right? That reaction is like viscerally instant in yeah. him. Whereas then, Joe probably lets it fester. He'll fester and he'll think about it a little more. But what, what I think with Joe and Kennedy is there's nobody that, so you and I are the diplomats, right? You and I don't yeah. want to. You, the relationships are everything to me and you. For them, I will compromise it's... on an ideal, mm -hmm. not I mean not completely, right? Obviously, but I will make some compromises on a, ideals for you for know for friendships or yeah. for yeah exactly for the sake of the relationship. So where the two of them together, it's like I mean, dude, when Mark, you want to come on? Yeah, Mark, hop in with us. Um, so when we were. Um, with Joe, I was trying to talk to Joe about not letting it slip about his feelings about Francis for a while. Yeah, I was like, Joe, keep you know, keep it in, keep it in. Like, and he got to a point where he felt he was being dishonest. Once again, an ideal, right? An ideal. He felt like he had to be honest with himself and with us. Yeah, so it was like I was telling him, like, Joe, just you, just keep it to yourself. Like, don't just don't say. I didn't want to see him any, burn any burn any bridges with opportunities or things like that but i mean he came out and said it and people accepted it okay but it was like for for um for you and i like you and i especially that's why we do what we do on our channel we don't talk about the stuff going on in the church because we are trying to build relationships with our audience and have like a more of a community type thing where they're just like all right this is what is going on and this is we're going to discuss this thing and this is how it's going to go right it's like right i mean kennedy nobody breaks down a, a news topic going on like Kennedy. The guy is amazing. He puts those 15, 20 minute videos out and I'm like, he's the guy I want to go to, to listen to those things. Yep. So, uh, let's see. 